Hi everyone, I'm Chad Shoup, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a word that you're gonna be hearing a lot, and that's recession. Now, I'm not talking about an economic recession. Instead, we're talking about an earnings recession, a corporate earnings recession. Now, before we jump into my video, I just wanna make sure that you subscribe to my channel below, that you get a chance, click the subscribe button, so that way you don't miss out on any of my weekly insights. And I always appreciate to see if you're enjoying these videos, so by sh you can show me that by clicking the thumbs up on the video. Now, when I mentioned the word recession, I know it has a very negative connotation with it, and I wanted to get your thoughts about it. We're going through a corporate earnings recession at the moment. So how do you think that's gonna impact the stock market? You can leave me a comment below to get the conversation going, and I'll be sure to give you my feedback as well. But again, I wanted to remind you that this is not an economic recession that we're in right now. It's a corporate earnings recession, so we're seeing these companies in the stock market go through an earnings recession, and all that means is that we're seeing two quarters of negative growth. That's the first quarter of 2019, and the second quarter of 2019 is expected to be negative as well, and that will create the start of the earnings recession. Now, I know this sounds like a bad omen for the stock market, an earnings recession, very negative, very bearish views right here, but the last time this happened was 2016, and when you look back to 2016, it was a volatile year. We saw a lot of volatility around that. We around the earnings recession, but in 2017, things smoothed out and the stock market went through a nice rally. It was up over 10% and it was a very nice transitional period. And I think that's what we're gonna go through again today because when you look at what we've seen from the stock market from this year and even from last year, we've seen a lot of the volatility around the idea that corporations were gonna start struggling. We This year, we've seen the market start off with a very solid rally then fall about 7%, and then bounce back. So we've seen this volatile period that correlates to having an earnings recession at this time. But what we gotta keep in mind is that the markets look ahead, and they're looking ahead, and the outlook is very positive at the moment. Our economy is strong, and the Federal Reserve is not raising rates anymore, and the S&P 500 is hitting all-time highs. So we're seeing these bullish indicators in the economy, in the market, and that's got investors staying bullish during this earnings recession. And this is kind of my view on this too, is that we've already seen the volatility from the corporations that are struggling to grow their profits. And what we're gonna see now is the recovery mode where earnings are gonna to start to grow again, and that's gonna be bullish for investors. They're gonna to like to see that growth again, and it's gonna help lift stocks to new highs. And I'm excited about this opportunity. As a trader, there's always a way to trade these big shifts in the market. And as we continue down this long-term bull market, there's gonna be plenty of opportunity to trade options for massive gains. And I like to trade them around earnings, but the big no-no that I always have is that I don't trade options before earnings. I never gamble on what a company is going to say during their earnings statement because that is a huge risk and you really don't know how to play it out. But when companies report earnings, they give clear trade signals that you can take after the fact and still generate massive gains over the next just few weeks or even a couple of months. So those are the opportunities that I look to take advantage of and I know with the volatility here at the end of the earnings recession, it's going to give me a lot of opportunities to take advantage of these trades after a company reports earnings. So if you wanna learn more about that, if you're a serious trader, I've left a link below this video so that way you can learn more about my trading strategy around earnings. And they'll also have a link below to the full article that I have discussed this in depth. So if you wanna learn more, you can click that link below. Well, thanks for tuning into my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel below. And if you enjoy my videos and you wanna get notified whenever I post a new one, be sure to click the bell. Well, until next time, I'm Chad Shoup.